Or she can be alone without associating any partner with me. Which is the shirk. When you keep us salam, and also we have to establish the prayer. Establishing the prayer, meaning to pray on time. And it also means to pray in the way the Prophet of Allah And it also means to pray for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the sure. To pray on time. Here comes the importance of the time, the prayer time, which unfortunately many people they are neglecting nowadays. Which the Prophet وسلم, after he came back from Islam on Mirraj. Normally everything Allah SWT has given the Prophet وسلم, he on earth. But when it comes to the prayer, Allah SWT took the Prophet وسلم, all the way to the heavens, to a place, even to Jibreel who was the company of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he couldn't make it. He told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have to go alone because every angel has a limit. This is the last point I can reach. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah SWT lifted me up. I reached the place that I could hear the sound of the pen, the pen's writing, the deeds, and the qadr of Allah SWT. That's to our knowledge, highest position that human being can ever reach. No one call it except Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All this for what? To tell the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam some issues. One of them is the five daily prayers. And last month I gave him 50 prayers. He came back, he met Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Musa was a very amazing prophet because he went through all kinds of people. He lived with Firaun. And you know who is Firaun? He lived with the Jews. You know who are the Jews. That was Musa. That's why Allah SWT mentioned his story many times, more than any other prophet. Because whatever lesson, lesson you are looking for, you can find it in the story of Musa. Musa knows people, he knows personalities. So when the Prophet Allah came back, he passed Ibrahim. Ibrahim did not say anything. And the Prophet Allah when he reached Musa, Musa called him. He said, Muhammad, what did Allah SWT give him? The Prophet Allah so out of happiness. He said, Allah SWT gave me 50 prophets. He said, No. I tried people before you. And you have to remember this my people, they are stronger than yours. And my people couldn't do this. For sure, your people, they cannot do it. Go ask Allah SWT to show mercy upon your own more to reduce. As you know, Allah SWT kept on reducing the Prophet Allah SWT up and down between Moses and Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it five. And he said, These are five prayers. Whoever performed them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I will give him 50 in rewards. 50 in rewards. The scholars they said, 50 in reward here means not 50 rewards, the reward of 50 prayers. The number is five, but when Allah SWT reward you, He will multiply the reward to maintain the old ruling. Although it is abrogated, but the reward is still there. So the Prophet Allah SWT, as soon as He came down on earth, Allah SWT sent Jibreel the next day. He taught the Prophet Allah SWT how to perform wudu, and He said, this is the wudu that is given to you, and it is the same thing that was given to the people that came before you. And then Jibreel taught the Prophet وسلم, how to pray. So he came the first day he prayed with the Prophet وسلم, at the first time for Fajr, which is the rising of the dawn. So he was the Imam, and the Prophet وسلم, was the Mamu. And then he came for Zuhr, the beginning of the time. He came for, for Asr, the beginning of the time. He came for Maghrib, the beginning of the time. He came for Isha, the beginning of the time. Then he went back. The next day he came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the last part of Fajr time and he prayed with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Zuhur time also the last time for it. Asr time the last time for it. Likewise till the end of all of those prayers. After he finished he told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this is new time and the time that is given to the people that came before him. Very authentic case of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that's why the emphasis on the prayer time is very strong, found in the Quran. It's very amazing to know that 
even during the state of war, Allah SWT, He commanded the believers not, not to postpone prayer. That's why Allah SWT, He taught them how to pray, even in Jama'ah. He gave them many ways. In Rushud, in his book, Birat al Rushd, He mentioned around 8 ways. Some scholars he mentioned around 10 to 15 ways for the believers to pray when they are in the state of war. We're not talking about postponing the prayer. No, we're talking about even praying in the Jama'ah. Allah SWT did not give them excuse. He said if the war, if the battle was too strong, in this case Allah SWT said, Farijal and Awruba. You have to pray according to your capability. You're fighting, but still pray on time. That's why Allah SWT in this place, He said, Inna salatu kanat al mu'minina kitab al -mawud. Definitely, every prayer has a fixed time from Allah SWT. So that's why no excuse for someone to pray not on time. Because Allah SWT did not give someone who is busy pleasing Allah SWT, did not give them excuse. You shall be known the closest student of Musa Allah SWT gave him one miracle that he did not give any other prophet. As the Prophet Allah SWT. He was fighting for the sake of Allah. After he finished the battle, he realized that the sun is almost down. I mean, he's almost mugly time. They did not pray as him. So he looked at the sun. He addressed him. He said, son, you're moving because Allah SWT asked you to move. And we also, we are fighting, we are doing whatever we are doing because Allah SWT asked us to do this. He said, you have to stop for us for a while. Let us pray on time and then you can move. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah SWT not only stopped us for him. Allah SWT caused it to come back a little bit for them so that they can pray on time. You can see how crucial is their prayer time which can lead you to believe that uh, definitely al insan is how Allah SWT is in the Ukhan of the room of Jehovah. Musa والسلام, who was honest and he was right when he said to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, your Ummah, they cannot do it. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was right when he said they, will, they can do it. That's why you can see many people, many people, many people nowadays like Sayyid al Muslim, one of the righteous scholars, early generation. We have the likeness of him nowadays. But Sayyid al Muslim was reported to have said, he said around 30 years, he was in the masjid every day praying in the first line. 30 years, continuously for 30 years. Every day he every prayer he must be at the first line. And he said for 50 years, I never went into the masjid after the Allah. And he said throughout my life, I never saw the back of someone in prayer. So you can imagine what type of people are they? Because they know how much em emphasis and last part of what on the prayer. That's why they look at the prayer the way the Prophet looked at it. He said the first thing Allah SWT will judge human beings on the last day in terms of ibadah is the prayer. If the prayer is okay, Allah SWT will take this person to paradise and nothing